Welcome to the Friday Night Blitz. We got a big show for you tonight. Ardmore hosting Altus in a top 10 showdown. It's homecoming in Durant and in Ada. Gunner takes on SNS and Colgate battles Marietta. But let's begin in Sherman. And Jeremy Thomas is live out at Bearcat Stadium tonight. Yeah, that's right, David. An exciting one here at Bearcat Stadium. Sherman taking on Denton. Sherman trying to get that first district win of the season. Denton and Sherman tangling in district play. Opening drive of the game, the Bearcats with it. Quarterback Blaze Benson on the play action, lofts it up to Tyler Jones, who leaps and makes the grab for the touchdown. Sherman is up seven to nothing. Later in the first, Broncos on the attack. Former Sherman head coach Gary Joe Kinney's son, Landry Kinney, rolls out of the pocket. He's searching for a receiver, just puts it up in the air, but it's brought down by Bearcat Gage Smith for the INT. Then more from the dark side defense in the second. Sherman's Brett Wilson sniffs out the attack and comes up with a huge tackle there. Nicely done. Then right before the half, Kenny would find Isaiah Warford on the slant, but Warford coughs up the football. It's recovered by Jalen Cotton for another Bearcat takeaway. Then in the third quarter, Sherman adds to its lead. Nate Omayabu from three yards out. He's going to punch it in for six. And this one was a close one in the third and into the fourth, but Sherman broke away to win it 35 to 14. Nate Amabu, four touchdowns on the ground in this one, an amazing game for Sherman. They picked up that first district win of the season, David. All right, huge win for the Bearcats tonight for sure. You know, it's been a rough start for the Durant Lions, 0-5 with lots of district games to go, though there's still plenty to play for. Homecoming at Durant, Emily Langley, the queen out there. Then it was time for football. The Lions hosting Tulsa East Central tonight. First quarter, Lions going for it on fourth and four. K. Buchanan with the perfect ball to Brandon Davis. They say he steps out of bounds there, so they bring it back. It is a first down, and never mind that anyway, because two plays later, Durant would punch it into the end zone. Matt Gillis makes it 7-0 for Ray Richards and company. Next drive, they open it up. Buchanan showing off the gun. No question about that one. He's in bounds now. Davis takes it to the house, and Durant wins big. 35 to nothing over East Central. Homecoming in Ada. Cougars taking on Tecumseh tonight. Ada's Jackson McFarlane makes an early statement here. 50 yards for the touchdown. The Cougars strike fast. Second quarter, Ada on defense. Zach Powell comes up with the interception. Then McFarlane takes it in for another touchdown. This one was all Ada tonight. A happy homecoming for them too. 47 to 19. Homecoming in Lone Grove. Jordan Johnson is the queen there. Then it was time for them to take on Dixon. Lone Grove quarterback Montana Stafford throws it to Kimyon Sofas, who turns on the Jets. There he goes for the touchdown. Lone Grove strikes quickly. Then Dixon goes to work. Rusty Beard gives to Brandon Sullivan. Sullivan's got some room, gets the corner, and he's gone. Comets get into the end zone for the touchdown. Then Dixon added again. Sullivan fields the kick, but then the costly mistake. The ball punched out. And Lone Grove would take advantage immediately, taking it back the other way for the touchdown. That's Cole Skelly for the score. Lone Grove wins tonight, 47-27. That's actually a late fourth quarter score. Well, coming up next on the Friday Night Blitz, Gunner takes on SNS. Colgate plays Marietta, and it's Tish versus Kingston. Plus, two top five teams collide, Ardmore and Altus. That's next on the Blitz. Welcome back to the Friday Night Blitz. Nothing like a couple of highly ranked teams getting together for a district showdown, but that's what we have in Ardmore tonight. And Travis Buckner is live out at Noble Stadium with more on this one. That's right, David. I'm here in Ardmore where they were taking on the Altus Bulldogs, and Ardmore was ranked number five, or excuse me, number four coming in today, and uh, Altus, excuse me, was ranked number three. So a top five matchup tonight, big game tonight, and this was a game that kind of gets you in the feeling for playoff time. It's a top five matchup between the Ardmore Tigers and the Altus Bulldogs. First series of the game, Cape Dickerson takes the handoff and pounds it up the middle for the three-yard score. Altus with an early advantage in this one. 
Tigers now on the prowl when Cameron Petties takes the toss and crosses the plane for the three-yard Ardmore touchdown, tying the game at seven. Bulldogs now trying to score before the end of halftime, and Jake Vargas drops back to pass for the first time of the night, and he finds Daniel Riley all alone. He'll take it 34 yards to the house. Altus retakes the lead 14 to seven. Now in the third quarter, Bulldogs punting when it's blocked and recovered by Malik Ritchie, setting the Tigers up deep in Altus territory. Tigers now threatening to score when Cameron Petties hits the outside and gets the one yard score the hard way for his second touchdown of the night. So Ardmore wins this one by a final score of 20 to 14. And I tell you what, David, this is one of the most insane atmospheres of the season so far with, uh, with this Ardmore crowd. Did, they were losing at halftime by a score of 14 to seven. So once again, coming from behind in the second half, and once again, the Tigers win this one by a final score of 20 to 14. Reporting live in Ardmore, Travis Buckner, Sports 12. All right, what a football game between two good football teams. The Gunner Tigers have just rolled through everybody they've played this year, and the defending state champs have an undefeated record to show for it tonight. They head over to Sadler. The SNS Rams hosting the champs tonight. Tigers would take control early in this football game. However, Dalen Bauer on the short yardage play plunges in for the touchdown. Gunner with the early lead. Rams with it now. Quarterback Chaz Maxey looking for his man, but this one's picked off by Clayton Reed, and he takes it back the other way into SNS territory, and that would lead to this. Peyton Lowe taking it in for six. This one all Gunner tonight, 53 to nothing. The White Wright Tigers and Leonard Tigers square off tonight. First quarter, White Wright quarterback Marshall Mangrum hands off to Dylan Cordell, who gets past the Leonard defense and makes it into the end zone for the touchdown. Great play for the White Wright Tigers. Now Leonard goes to work. Their quarterback, Ronnie Hart, tosses the ball to J.J. Bryan, who runs down the sideline and gets into the end zone for the touchdown. They miss the point after it's seven to six, but Bryan with the ball again, this time keeping it himself for the touchdown. And right now, this game still going late in the fourth, 49-27, Leonard with the lead. The Tishomingo Indians host the Kingston Redskins. Kingston with it first. Quarterback Riley Holmes fakes the handoff to Dalton Williams and keeps it himself, then gets a block from Williams, takes it down the sideline before they can bring him down. Tishomingo with it now. Quarterback Hunter Campbell hands it off to Birch Wood, who finds a crease, breaks through, and gets some yards. Then Kingston again. Riley Holmes scampers, takes a big hit, but delivers the strike to Tyler Blanchard, and he is gone. Kingston pulls the shutout on the road, 31 to nothing. Homecoming at Colgate, Jay Lee Lindemod is the queen there. Zane Ferris is the king. They take on Marietta for a great matchup here. Marietta's Omar Castaneda, check this out, receives the kick, runs into the pile, spins, twists, plays a little human pinball, and there he goes. Takes it all the way down to the 10 yard line before Ian Conley can chase him down. Then Marietta on offense. Nathaniel Maldin runs it in for the touchdown. Colgate would answer back. Ian Conley goes 25 yards for the score, and Colgate wins a thriller. Good, two good teams, 18 to 16, the final there. Big district showdown in time being the Tomcats hosting Blue Ridge. Second quarter, Blue Ridge QB Tyson Walters throws it long to Garrett Mathers, who is there for the catch and the touchdown. They're up 19-6. Here come the Cats, though. Quarterback Bryce Greer gives it to Blankston Jones. He's tackled there by Mathers. Still in the second, Blue Ridge QB Tyson Walters throws across the field to Jarrett Wallace, who gets hit by Greer. Blue Ridge wins the game, though, 39 to 19. Medill at home against Seminole. Seminole with it late in the second. Cade Hammond gives to Gavin Parks, and he has got some wheels. There goes Parks down the sideline, and the Chieftains are out in front early. Later, Seminole with it again. Cade Hammond scrambles, but he is going to be chased down by that Medill defense, getting the big sack there. Medill looking to make a play. Colton Jones is picked off by Arrington Baker. He takes it back the other way for the touchdown. Seminole gets the win, 44 to seven. Homecoming in Atoka, Haley Gass is the queen as the Wampus Cats host Wilburton. Second quarter, Wilburton quarterback Levi Knight takes off, picks up a first down 12 yards before the Cats can get him to the turf. Then Atoka 
receives the kick here. Low liner, but it's picked up. Nice return here for the Wampus Cats before they're run into a wall there. Then Wilberton, Tyler Crabtree will take it on the pass from Knight. That's a touchdown. This game's still going. Wilberton up 49 to 34 in the fourth. Well, stick around. You're watching the Friday Night Blitz. Welcome back. The Collinsville Pirates are off to a great start. Four and one. The Celeste Blue Devils have been good too. They're four and oh. Tonight, the two teams will collide in Collinsville. Good matchup here. Blue Devils with the ball first. Jalen Buckley rolls right by some time until Chad Amico is open, makes a nice catch and a nice gain for Celeste. Good play there for the Blue Devils to get going. Same drive, Logan Franklin back to pass. This is gonna fall right into the hands of Gustavo Romo for Collinsville. He gets the interception. Later, the Pirates would strike gold. A-plus athlete Cooper Smith gives to Romo, and he is off to the races for the touchdown, but Celeste would get the win 14 to eight. Hugo Buffaloes at home tonight against Spiro. Buffaloes making quite the American entrance to the action now. Quarterback Matt Bray with the keeper takes it down the far sideline for a big game. Then after a defensive stop, Markel Lennox on the punt return, and he's gonna break some ankles and slip some tackles here. Big gain all the way down to around the 30 yard line. Then Hugo will take it in for the touchdown, but Hugo coming up just short, 28-25. The Antlers Bearcats take it on Panama. Antlers also showing the colors tonight over there. Then Panama with the ball looking for the big gain, but Caleb Schieffer makes the big interception. That kid likes that. Late in the third, the D comes up big here. Kenny Clagg puts the pressure on the quarterback, forces the intentional grounding. Then Kaysen G finishes off the drive with the touchdown, but Panama would come back for the win, 29-26 the final. More scores and highlights on the way coming up in the Max Blitz over on Fox at 11. Thanks for watching the Friday Night Blitz. Have a great weekend.